we've got some great items on the menu. Should we just order or do you want to talk about some things that on this menu in particular that we can? No, as I said, I have uh, previewed ready. the menu <laughs> and I am ready to go. Well, let's bring Chef Strada let's in do. and he'll take our order. Great. Okay. This is Chef Alex Strada with Strada Kitchen. We love the menu, Chef, and I think we're ready to order, right, Doctor? Yeah, it's exciting. Okay. So many good things on here. Will you order for me? I will. Okay, will. So I saw that you have a spicy gazpacho as the soup, and I think that would be great. It's got tomatoes and peppers, and um, I noticed there was um, a chimichurri sauce. If we could just leave that off and leave the pepitas off, that would be fine. Okay. And then uh, the hidden gem salad just looks lovely. It's got the gem lettuce and grilled asparagus. If we could have that grilled with no oil. Um, and then just leave off the potatoes and the croutons and, and no dressing. Uh, we've got some lemons here that I plan to use. And then the skewers look amazing. Um, I think we'd like to have the, the grilled uh, chicken skewers and then the char grilled steak. Once again, if you can just grill those for us without using any oil, that would be fantastic. And then also the wild mushrooms would be great. And, um, and I lots think of that bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no bread. <laughs> no bread. Even chef says no bread, Jan. <laughs> um, that's for later. Well, when, we, when you get to our maintenance plan, yeah. you can certainly have bread. <laughs> and I think when the food, as chef prepares it, is so fresh, so helpful, so refreshing, you're not going to miss anything because I don't you've got all the flavors in there and chef do you, do you get asked these kinds of questions a lot can we modify uh, you know we do quite not as much here because the menu is designed so it's very easy to navigate for yes. people with special requests but in general it's kind of the new normal yes. that uh, you do expect people to have specific uh, needs and you know maybe 20 years ago people fought a tooth and nail but now it's just a new new way to do things yes. and kitchens yeah. are prepared for it um, and they need to be flexible because that's how people eat now. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Well, I'm excited to taste everything. Thank you. I look forward to it. Are you going to cook it? I am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Uh, Thank you so much. See how easy that was? So, and, and I love the fact that he understands this as the new normal. And I think that's going to be so good for all of us, too, to find a place that will do that. I want to talk a little bit about... Um, what we should drink when we're eating lunch or dinner. Because I've always heard, you know, drink a ton of water before you sit down at the table. Don't drink anything when you're eating. What is, does it matter what we're drinking during a lunch or dinner or breakfast? Well, I certainly want your drinks to be calorie free, yeah. right? We don't want to fill up on a sugary beverage or anything like that. But I think there was some advice that if you drink a lot of water before you eat, you'll be full and you won't eat as much. You know, I don't know that I like that. I think it may distend your stomach and you feel bloated and you may not enjoy your food, but um, some patients may do that. Also, if you have ulcers or you have hernias, drinking all that water while you're eating can distend your stomach and it just doesn't, doesn't feel good. So definitely drink your uh, fluids with your meal, but I don't think you need to drink them in excess. Okay. Now, I want to ask you three of your top secrets, three of your top best tips for eating out and staying on our diet? Well, I think that when we eat out, a lot of times we think every cause is a celebration every time <laughs> we eat out. And so we just want to get whatever we see that looks good. And you're with groups with people and you think, well, they're having that, I'll have that. And the reality is most of us eat out three to five times a week. So every time you eat out is just not a free for all. So. Yeah. You, know, you want to learn to choose things that are going to keep you on your plan. And I think that, you know, a lot of restaurants have um, a lot of heavy sauces, a lot of salt, a lot of oils, and, and then fried foods. And yeah. those are the things that can, can be difficult. And many times you don't even realize um, how much oil and butter they yes. use in cooking. And, Absolutely. you know, it tastes great, yeah. but it can really add to the calories. So just trying to keep things simple and enjoy foods for their flavor, fresh vegetables, roasted, um, fresh meats, grilled herbs, spices. Yeah. And the more we eat like that, the more we appreciate the real flavor of vegetables, the real flavor of the natural foods, your palate gets used to that. Okay, so I have been a lifelong dieter 
I've been dieting all my life. And a lot of times when I, years ago, I would sit down at a table with people and I was dieting, it was embarrassing because I, I would get a lot of pushback. Come on, Jan, you look great. Go ahead, you can have that piece of bread. Go ahead, you can have the cake. It's just one bite. Mm -hmm. And you know what you say? No, thank you. I know. And sometimes you have to say it more than once. Oh, no, thank you. And so don't you don't you cave to, to pressure. Don't cave to pressure. You have sabotagers, and yeah. you know what you want to do. And if you're really sticking with your plan, just stick to it and say, "Oh, no, thank you." Yeah, because here's the beautiful part about it: we want the body that we've always wanted, and we can have it. What I love about Red Mountain Weight Loss is that it's real food. You're cooking real food. You're going out. You're having real food at a restaurant. You're not putting packets of things in your purse and you know you can eat and this is what we should be doing we should be eating real food because this is real life it is and not only is it real food in real life but you will get real results with our plans and they're designed to give you great results so you don't mind making a few modifications when you see those results Dr. B, why, what made you, because you could have gone down a lot of different paths with Red Mountain Weight Loss, but you chose to teach people to eat real food. Why? I think it's the most important thing you can do for your health. If you eat well and take care of yourself and keep your weight in a modest range, um, you're going to feel better, you're going to look better, and you're going to avoid a lot of future health problems. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it's real life, and it's something that I think that we can stay on for the rest of our life. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle.